Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit. This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. So this is going to be an interesting podcast today. Here's what I'm going to call this podcast episode, which you already know because you're listening to it. But it's going to be something about reaching down to feel the heartbeat of Mother Earth. It's like, what the fuck? What are you smoking, Karen? Like, what is going on, right? So let me reflect on this. So a couple things that are coming up this week. I mean, number one, I went away the last couple days, actually 36 hours, to be completely honest. Left Monday at 1 o'clock on a flight to go to Laguna Beach, California with my husband, Ed. He uh, is up for the week, still there right now as I record this podcast, um, to assist at a Warrior Week, Warrior Week 47, which is part of the some of the final steps of his incredibly rigorous, uh, intense training and certification to be a certified warrior trainer and um, teaching Warriors Way, which he's already doing with his men's group, which is called Men of Iron, his men's movement. Um, however, this is another piece of it. So we were also, I came up with Ed to be interviewed by coach Sam Falsafi on the Warrior Week podcast, who is the head trainer for Warrior, head coach, right next with Garrett, um, who's really not really, not really in Warrior Weeks at all anymore. I think he might pop in a little bit here and there, but Sam is really running the show. And, um, and so we were interviewed, just flew up on the Monday interview Tuesday morning. I spent that day, uh, studying, working, uh, in Laguna while Ed was at where we he didn't get back till late, 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 like Tuesday night. I mean, we knew I, we were weren't going to see each other. And then I was up about 10 to four to catch a early flight and then back home on the Wednesday. And so a couple of things that I noticed, number one, um, Laguna beach, right? So, I mean, right along the ocean where we were beautiful. Um, we live across the street from the ocean. And so there's certain things that are part of my day, my morning, which one of them being that I walk my dogs, I walk my dogs along the beach. Now being away, obviously I didn't have that right coming back home. Now it is away. And so I can't walk them early morning when my kids are in the house. Right. I mean, you know, I can't leave a four and seven year old. It's kind of at that point where I'm like, dad, they're sleeping. Like, probably be okay but you know you're just kind of like not like you're trying to I'm trying to kind of push the envelope with that one but I really know the right thing to do is like no I can't leave a four and a seven year old like maybe Tyson at seven almost seven and a half he may be enough that I could like leave for the 25 minute walk and he'd be okay but you know if any something was to happen you know you just don't take those risks with your kid that would just be stupid so um so I needless to say is I'm not having my dog walks early morning peaceful in the dark. Now, when we get back, when we get back, <laughs> we meaning me, myself and I, when I get back now, cause I've just dropped off my oldest son Tyson at school and I have some other things that have a lot of things to actually to do for work. And I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to walk my dogs along the beach. I then box at uh, 10. And so it's literally, that'll be my time. I'm going to be walking instead. I may be able to get in a quick Facebook live, maybe some driving over to the boxing gym and I don't have a lot of time to work today because my trainer now, we're reading at 10. And so what does this have to do with Mother Earth, right? So with being in Laguna and uh, being right along the ocean, working at a few different coffee shops and looking out like right onto the ocean, right? Hearing from my husband, Ed, how even though what he's doing with, uh, you know, his part of a certified trainer stuff with Warrior Week is very intense. And for Ed with Crohn's disease, he feels pain every single day every single day. He had emergency surgery about a year or two after he was diagnosed with Crohn's. And, um, he has about a foot of a colon left because he had emergency surgery to remove the the majority of his his diseased colon. And so, um, you know, it's life is difficult for Ed. He, you know, it's, it's kind of like, it's what is, and, uh, we've accepted that and we're still searching for ways to really help him heal and get better. And by the way, please don't send me anything about how you know that this will help with Crohn's. Like, just don't, just don't, don't send me your fucking superfood. Don't send me your shakes. Don't send me any of this shit or like none of it, none of it. Believe me, we've tried it. We've done all of it. We're still, you know, looking for other solutions, but here's the biggest thing that I've found to be true. And what Ed is realizing 
because as he's there, and we don't really have a lot of time to connect because of how intense things are, and he really has to stay in that state to serve these men that are coming up to really, um, you know, to to find out who the fuck they are, to find out how to, what it really means to be a man, to be a father, to be a husband, um, to figure out really who they are. And, uh, and so Ed needs to stay in that state. So the little bit we've been texting back and forth, of course, I've been checking with him saying, hey, how you feeling today, babe? Because for Ed also to go in a situation where he doesn't really know what's coming up and when he maybe has to run to the bathroom a bunch of times throughout the day and like just the not knowing can be very stressful, right? It's one thing to be like, okay, I'm working. I have these calls. Like I know when things are, but he doesn't know any given day how he's going to feel, like what the variation of pain is going to be. And when he texted me this morning, we were able to text back and forth for a couple of minutes. He said, he's like, you know what? I actually feel pretty good. He's like, the sunshine and ocean is so good for me. Like, I know, babe. I know. You've been burying your head and work a lot of times and look up. We live right across here from the ocean, right? And I know it's not as, you know, it's not as warm here right now as Laguna, but I mean today in Victoria it's I don't know, I think we're gonna be reaching, let's see, I think fifteen degrees today, which for my American friends that's like low sixties, like lovely day, the sun's out, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Victoria is just full of green space. This is actually an island that we're on. Uh, you know, I'm driving back home. The ocean's right across the street. I'm going to walk my dogs. Like, it's beautiful. But here's my purpose. And then today, I listened to this song from Peter Gabriel. I'm just kind of going through playlists that's on my iPhone, driving the kids to daycare and then Tyson to school. And there's a song from the movie Wally. If you have not seen the movie Wally, by the way, so it's spelled W A L L hyphen E, it's a Pixar movie from several years ago about a little robot whose name is Wally. You need to watch the movie. It is the most beautiful, special, amazing movie. If you have kids, watch them with your kids. It is a, quote, kids movie, but it's a, it's a movie with a very, very big message. Like, you will be moved by it. The music's great. And, and so one of the songs from it is actually at the end in the trailer, which is by Peter Gabriel, and it's called Down to Earth. And it really is this thing, because in the whole movie, it's like, so just to kind of give you a little bit of a, a glimpse of it, is like, it's, you know, it's in the future, and we're not living on Mother Earth anymore because we've totally fucking destroyed the Earth. And there's not really much living, you know, stuff that's there anymore. And so people are living, like, in space. Almost like, think of it like a, like a spaceship but a cruise ship, okay? And everyone's fucking fat. Like, I mean, they're obese. They don't walk anymore. They just, like, drive on these things. And so at the very end, it's just this really, like, song is the crawl. The credits are rolling because they kind of discover this. And then I won't say anything else because I want you to watch the movie because it's great. But they start to really turn those things around. And how important is it for us to be connected into Mother Earth? Like, really? Really? You don't have to live where there's the ocean or mountains. But you you have the ability to be outside. And you need to connect with nature, however that looks. Park, ocean, mountains, beach, grass. Like, I see more and more. You know, I watch my kids, and they're just like, oh, I want to go to the park, I want to go to the beach. Like, ah. I mean, they still, too, want to be an iPad. They still want to watch shows. That was part of my existence, too, as a kid growing up. Not the iPad, but watching TV. But there's a difference when they get outside. Like, when I get outside and I walk my dog, this is why I'm kind of, like, grappling back with them. Like, oh, I really got to do this training. I really, I'm just like, you know what? It's going to wait till after boxing. I need to get outside. Like, I'm really noticing the difference in how I feel when I don't have that time to walk with my dogs early morning. It's grounding for me. It's grounding for me. It's, it's really special, too, doing it with my dogs, which are older dogs. I got my old Lola bear. She's 13, and Karma's 11 and a half, and Karma's like a puppy, and Lola's really starting to slow down, having some challenges, and, you know, to be able to walk with my pack, right? Like, my two girls, my bitches look out in the ocean it's like <sighs> just take a deep breath you know whether it's dark whether it's like completely sunny and beautiful like it is right now whether it's the sun's just coming up whether it's cold and it's windy and I'm seeing waves in the ocean like there is a necessity to taking space in your day every day every day every day every day every day to be outside be in nature. However that looks for you, sister. You might go, but Karen, 
it's minus this degrees right now. Like it's blowing cold snow and blah. like I know I understand. I used to live in Alberta. We had snow from like Halloween pretty much until like April, sometimes May. So like I understand that like oh my god, it's so fucking cold. Like you know. And here I am driving, and I look up ahead, and it's clear, so I can see mountains up ahead of me. And as I turn left here shortly to go to my home, it'll be ocean right up ahead, and we actually see ocean at the front. So, I mean, I'm so grateful for where we now live, where we've chosen to live, where we've decided to live, where we've found to live, which really, like, fills us up. And for Ed even noticing, like, with the, the symptoms he has with Crohn's disease are greatly diminished when we go to Maui. Now, there's something also really special about the island. There is a vibration there that I can't explain. I just experience. Ed just experiences. He he almost feels no symptoms there. Like, it's the freakiest shit in the world, right? We're like, how could that happen? How could that be? And I'm telling you, it's a big piece of this is being connected into sunshine and ocean. Sunshine and ocean. Remember when you've seen stuff like back in the 20s, 30s, 40s, even 50s, where people would go away on these, like, for like a, you know, a medical thing, like they would be sick. And what would be the prescription? Sea, ocean air, and sunshine. And they would sleep out in the sun. And, and you know, I can even remember like my grandparents that would go to Florida. So I grew up in Ontario. So East Coast, so I grew up in Ottawa. And um, so a big thing for a lot of the, the seniors is they would go to Florida because that would be the closest, right? Out here where I am, it's well, either they stay here because they're in Victoria where it's lovely the year round. But if they go to where they're going to go out west, they're going to go because we are out west. They go to like Palm Springs, like some, some part of California, maybe Arizona. But um, my grandparents going there and saying how they would say things like, you know, my arthritis is like, I, you know, feel so much better when I'm there. Like my body feels better when I'm there. Like the cold would be really difficult for their bodies. And we might kind of, you know, chalk it down to, well, they're older and they need to have warmer and stuff that's easier in the body and all that kind of stuff. And cool that's very true I think regardless of age but I'm telling you there is something about being outside in sunshine fresh air nature ocean mountains whatever your flavor whatever it is that's near you a park Jesus even just the grass in your backyard or on your front lawn or flowers you have in your home like you are but not just in your home but like you are outside in nature it is important it is where you slow down it is where you can really begin to listen to your own voice inside it is when you can really begin to to see and to, you know, the insights that come. Because, listen, sister, our lives are so, our lives are so busy now, right? So full of stuff. So full of to-do lists. And our children and our marriages and our businesses and taking care of our bodies. And I get it. It can feel sometimes like, oh, my God, I'm just running and running and running. But I'm telling you right now, you will be more productive more calm, more focused when you take the time to be out in nature. Put your feet in the grass. Go walk by the beach if you live near one. Just go outside and get in fresh air. Go walk your dogs. Play your kids at the park. Do this on a daily basis. Think of it as like when you plug in your phone, right? We recharge our devices at night. Why? Because we want to have them at full power during the day. We don't want to run out of power. So I'm going to have you consider that when you get out into nature... It is a way of you plugging in. You plugging in. You filling yourself up with the stuff that's going to make you be on power for the rest of the day and maybe even to the next day as well. So more tip for today is to get outside. And on top of this is to really to find a system, find some kind of a strategy where you can do this on a daily basis where there's no excuses. There's no excuses for time. Like, there's none of that shit, right? No excuses. Well, I can't because of the kids. I can tell you, your kids want to go to the park, so you can get outside and be at the park with your kids. Like, get a trampoline and put it in your fucking backyard, and then you can be in the backyard and be jumping on the trampoline with the kids and be outside in the sunshine and fresh air. Like, you just need to find a way to make this happen, sister. So three things I want to finish up with you then today. Number one, to make sure to subscribe to the One One More newsletter. This is part of being getting VIP access and being in the One Wanting More tribe. So I will send you when you sign up for the newsletter, which is at drkarenosbrum.com slash action guide, the more for PDF and downloadable PDF and video training, which is really how to start your day in power. Okay, in addition, I'm gonna send you two very exclusive trainings I only had inside a private Facebook group which is really how to remember who you are, how to drop the stories that are holding you back and how to create new ones. So that's at drkarenosbrum.com slash action guide. That's number one. Number two, 
The woman wanting more shop. I created this for you, sister. You're actually going to see when you go into shop.womanwantingmore.com, my beach. You're actually going to see a video when you go right in, which I talk about why I created this, why it's important, why I had the, 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 the insight and idea to wear who you are. What, what, what would it be like if you wore words on a shirt that actually meant something? Now, I know there's a lot of companies out there doing this, but this is the difference is that it means something. You are part of this movement. You are hearing this message for a reason. And this is a way for you to reflect how you feel on the inside and have your, your clothing really speak it for you on the outside with different messages that you hear inside the podcast. So that's at shop.womanwantingmore.com. And when you go to the checkout, make sure to use the discount code podcast, podcast, P-O-D-C-A-S-T, and you will get 10% off your entire order on me as a special gift. So that's number two. And number three, I would love to see you inside the sisterhood. This is a way for you to really get more clear on the things that you want within your life, to really learn how to heal your marriage, to learn how to reconnect with your children, to learn how to really produce more energy and vitality and youth within your body, to learn how to create more revenue within your business and do things that really fulfill you, to learn how to connect into spirit and to, what do you know, mother nature. So that is over at drkarenosram.com slash sister. And you get to sign up for the first seven days for just a dollar. Okay, a dollar. You are worth it, sister. And here's the biggest thing. And the reason why I built the sisterhood is because so many of you are saying things like, and we're saying things, you're still saying things like, I feel like I'm the only one. I feel like I'm all alone. This is a way for you to know that you are not alone. You can be around other women that are like you, albeit virtually. But to really help you become who you want to become, and to get there faster with the tools that I see, teach you in the trainings inside the sisterhood. So that's at drkarenosborn.com slash sisterhood. And all of these links will be in the show notes, which you can just click on or click on that eye on your phone if you're listening on an iPhone. That'll bring up your show notes and you can click on all these links right away. So I will talk to the next episode, sister. A life of more is just one step away from you doing the fucking work every single day. I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the how to get more tip. Subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosburn.com slash newsletter.